What's up guys, Gundam NYC here again with another review of the awesome, amazing, reversible Gundam. So I've gone through the box already, so I'm going to start just going straight into these kits from now on. If you guys want to see and hear my opinion on the box and see the pieces, go check out my unboxing review of the reversible Gundam. But let's just get started with this kit. So right here what we have is the reversible Gundam. I haven't done much panel lining work to it. So everything that you see right now is minimally panel lined. I did a little bit of panel lining right here. The vents I painted, the skirt armor is painted, this black piece around here is painted. So no, this isn't the completed version of what the kit will look like, but this is just a very quick view of what you can do with the kit when you just apply a little bit of paint and a little bit of stuff. And what I have to say right now, it looks great. I mean, even without the paint, the major painting and all the stuff that I can do to this kit, it looks great. And it's definitely one of those kits that you want to pick up. So this kit is a play on the reversible Gundam. There are a few, you know, other aspects into this kit as well. We also see parts of like the Exia and these dragon fangs right here are definitely a part of the Epion Gundam as well too. So it's nice to see all these pieces come together. And in my opinion too, I think these boosters in the back are a little bit of a remnants of the Sananju too. So we get a very great combination of a kit. But just going into this kit itself, the colors on this kit are what really, really like draw me to it. We have this white, nice pearl white that we get here. But then we also get these very, you know, what is it? It's a sort of resin color on the arms right here, the skirt armor, the shoulder, and the knees right here too, which is really cool. It's an interesting look that I've never seen. It's a cream color, but if anybody's ever built resin kits, it's it almost feels like it's not complete, but it is complete, if that makes sense. But we also get great color separation for the legs. So we get a nice gray on the back, on the white here as well too and it's just so cool there are two separate grays actually almost three grays no two i'll stick with two so we have one yeah three i'll say two three that's a little bit of a different shade of gray but to get this much color quote unquote in one kit it's really cool but just so you guys know as well i'll probably do reviews of the tank mode and the uh, cannon mode separately, but I just want to focus on the mobile suit mode right now. So first off, going up with the articulation, the head goes 360 degrees around. It's really cool. The arms can go all the way in a circle. You just want to make sure that you're careful of the backpack as well. The legs... Or let's go into the torso. Torso goes all the way around 360 degrees as well. It's on one ball joint, so but there's an interesting factor when you put in the uh the transformable portion to it. So this is a second ball joint, but it's not really a ball joint for articulation. Or it is, and they did a good job at it. So you can bend from, you can do a few ab crunches for this kit right here, and then bend from the waist a little bit. But it's really only one point of articulation for that. But the legs are actually really cool. So I'm going to show this. So if you notice on this mechanism right here, the leg moves in and out. And that's part of the transformation but it's almost like a piston moving within that kit or within the leg, which is really cool. So the leg right here kind of gets uh, gets hung up by the back skirts, but I cut the back skirts in half so they don't move as one unit and you can move them around. There's not much mobility on the legs, but you can get it up right here. Because of the leg armor, you can't bend it any further past than this really. So. Just know that. And for the feet, 
the feet, I know a lot of people aren't a fan of like these high heel looks on kits, but I really do like them. It's a, uh, it's interesting look, but uh, it's still pretty cool. So these feet go side to side, and then they're also in a separate joint that comes all the way down. So that's technically the normal position of the foot is like this. But then for the tank modes and things like that, you're going to start putting the feet back and they can do all this, all that type of motion if you see right there. So, so the feet are pretty articulated on this kit. But let's go into the arms because that's a lot more to deal with here. So this kit comes with a lot for simply arms being articulated. So we have a dragon fang right here, which is on three... One, two, three, yeah, three separate ball joints, so it does a lot of motion there. You can get a lot of different motion into it. The claws open up separately. The top and bottom are, are independent of each other, so the two on the bottom move together. Can't move those separately, but the top one moves on its own. Uh, we have a gun right here that can be taken off, reattach it. And the shield opens up into these bits as well. So it's really cool to get that much in an arm. There's just so much going on with the arm for this kit. It's, it's awesome. And then finally we have this part in the back that opens up for the thrust for the thruster. And that's a part of the that's a part of the transformation for the uh, for the cannon mode. And up top here, uh, there's a little piece. I haven't done all the washing of this kit yet, just for the panel lines and stuff, so that's why that's dirty. But uh, you're going to want to glue this top piece later on. I'm not sure if I need it for the transformation if it's moving, but this piece right here is very loose. So I'm probably going to wind up gluing it if it doesn't hinder the transformation. But I think, personally, after I'm done with the transformation reviews for this kit, I'm not gonna ever transform this kit again. But with the backpack, backpacks on a ball joint, we have the beam saber handles. They move up and down right here. You can move these side pieces right here to bring out the thrusters. Thruster piece comes in and out like so, like this. And yeah, so that's pretty much all I have to say about the reversible Gundam. I'm a huge fan of this kit. I definitely give this kit like an eight out of 10. You know, with the reversible gimmick as well, it's, there's a lot to do with this kit. So if you had reservations about picking this kit up or didn't think that you wanted to pick this one up, I definitely say go get it. It's a great kit, fun build, a little bit of a complicated build, but it's a lot of fun with everything. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel Gundam NYC. Don't forget to like and follow me on Facebook and Instagram, Gundam NYC. And until the next review, I'll see you guys soon. Peace.